Pep Guardiola's got his number nine at the Etihad for years to come. The long-awaited arrival of Erling Haaland going to take place after our football insider Fabrizio Romano reported on Monday. The Norwegian joining the club where his father once played. Except they'll get a little bit more money. The fill and need Manchester City have been looking for really since Sergio Aguero. Now Holland will be coming over from Borussia Dortmund. He's had an accomplished career despite just being 21 years old. He'll be 22 this summer. Fabrizio telling us that he passes medical and that City will play close to 75 million euro. That release clause, not exact 75, maybe more in that 68-ish range to activate that release from the Bundesliga club after this season. All right, to break down that and so much more, I've got the guys back here. CBS Sports HQ, the gaffer Tomos Rongen and the host of the Kegel Lajo podcast, Luis Miguel Echegaray. LME, I'm going to start with you first. You spoke with our guy, Fabrizio. First off, what more can you tell us from the conversation with Fabrizio Romano and then give us your thoughts on the move? Erling Haaland being a massive acquisition for the Premier League in Manchester City. Everything was pointing to Manchester City. You mentioned I talked to Fab on Kego Lasso. Obviously, he was in HQ as well, working hard on this report. And it's been coming for a few months, by the way. Man City always knew that this was a main target, not just because they need a number nine for next season, right? But it's also because of the player that he is. He can add a different dimension. And I think that's where I'm going with this. Tommy Tran, I'm hearing a lot about, you know, well, Man City don't need goals. This is a silly acquisition, etc. That may be so. Man City score no matter what. But what Erlen Haaland provides is a different alternative, a different angle, a different finalization and a conclusion of a game. If I give you the Champions League as an example, Man City were running out of ideas. They always go wide with either a Phil Foden or a Jack Grealish, Raheem Sterling, and they try and penetrate. But now... With Erlen Haaland, the man that scored 41 goals in 41 matches in his first season in Germany, 28 out of 29 this season, he had a bit of an injury going on. Now you have somebody that provides such a ridiculous different threat from a Man City perspective. This is a massive acquisition. And what did you say? 68 million around that release? That's insane. It's Erlen Haaland. That's ridiculous. And obviously he has the Man City connections. His father, Alfinger Haaland, played as a defender for Man City. He's been a Man City fan for a while. He's always wanted to come to the Premier League. So this is the piece for Manchester City. And there he is as a kid watching his team, Man City, with his father and his family, of course. But this is a massive acquisition for Manchester City. And also not forgetting that Julian Alvarez arrives in the summer as well. So Man City, well, the rich just get richer, Tommy Tran. I guess that's the uh, conclusion of this story. I'm, I'm sure the family connection had something to do with that because he grew up there for a few years. His dad played for uh, Manchester City. Yes, money was, was a, a, a huge thing. Uh, you look at the brand boost for this guy as well at 21. He's pretty good at that already. That will go up. Uh, a potential Ballon d'Or winner if he goes to City, which he has done, obviously. But the most important thing is Champions League success. Obviously, he won't get that with Dortmund. He will get that with Manchester City. And he gets with that an incredible coach that makes younger players better in Pep Guardiola, I'm sure, that played a huge role there as well. Natural fit, as, as LME just said. Tall, uh, strong, fast, clinical, good in the air as well. And if you look at, at, at this team, and yes, they score a lot of goals, they are second in chance creation and crosses. But their last in big chances missed. And by the way, Holland doesn't miss big chances. So in the big games, and that's what we're talking about, be it Real Madrid, obviously, you have now that alternative that LME just talked about. He is that missing piece. And I'm telling you, that's the best spy now in world soccer. Ederson, Diaz, Laporte, Silva, Rodri, Kevin De Bruyne, and now Holland there. By the way, on set pieces with his height, Huge advantage as well. It's interesting you guys both bring up the fit and the style. I'm curious because this is either to clarify or reinforce. Uh, Luis, there's talk about we saw Jack Grealish and Romelu Lukaku not fitting with their teams. And you mentioned when they need him to, to put it to the guy with the box. But does he fit when they play all the wingers that are interchangeable? That's going to be Erling Holland, maybe not always back to the goal first and foremost. Yeah, I think if somebody watches uh, Erling Haaland's development, by the way, Tommy Tran, especially from all the way from Salzburg to the national team, Borussia Dortmund, 
yeah, he's big, he's fast, and to TR's excellent point, he's going to finish those chances that Man City keep on missing out on. But the key here is that he's more than just a big, strong, tall player. He's very good at seeing what's around him. He's very good with movement. I mean, he's clinical inside the box, outside of the box. He knows exactly what to do in that moment. And that's what Man City needs because you mentioned Jack Grealish. Look, listen, I think it's going to take time for Jack. And maybe next season will work out for him. But he's a different kind of player. He's somebody that waits on the outside, tries to come in invertedly and provide. Romelu Lukaku, I just think it hasn't worked out for multiple reasons. One, I don't think that Tuchel system suits him very well. Erlen Haaland is a different animal. He's a different beast, and he's big and he's strong, but he's also very tactile. He's like a, I don't know, this is a horrible description, but like a beautiful rhino dancing ballet. He's just so good and, and smooth, but also super strong. Uh, forgive me, Haaland family, if I just call him a rhino. I'm sure there's a better animal out there. But Haaland, to me, fits perfectly. And TR, once again, made a very good point. Man City miss chances, specifically in big games, just like the Champions League. Haaland is your answer. And to me, it's a, it's a giraffe, by the way. The tall neck, yeah, you, you know, go. that statue right there, strong, strong, able to dance giraffe. on his feet. But you make a good point, Tommy. There will be an adjustment period, no doubt about it. And we're talking about the best players in the world. That includes defenders. Virgil van Dijk comes to mind, for instance, that he will face week in, week out as well. But there is this beauty that's very similar to Dortmund when he had Gotze, when he had Royce, when he had Gio Reyna, that also play intricacy combination play. He's not a great dribbler, but you put it to his feet inside the 80-yard box, he'll put it in the back of the net. All right. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.